Hello and welcome to this, another exciting episode of the Gaming Smorgasbord. I am your host, The Camera Andy, and today we are going to be playing the very alpha of Tiny Wizard, a procedural death labyrinth with an absolutely fantastic interactive menu where you kind of can run around and do stuff. You can look at how you're supposed to play the game and then you can shoot this guy to load into the first level. Now, what is Tiny Wizard, a procedural death labyrinth? I don't know if the name is cluing you onto it yet, but it is in fact a rogue-like-like game. It's a rogue-like-like-like, rogue-like-like game. It's a rogue-like game. It's a procedural death labyrinth, whatever you want to call it. It has all of the kind of trappings of a roguelike game, uh, a la things like uh, Binding of Isaac or um, Dungeons of Dreadmore in a kind of way where it's got procedurally generated levels. It has permadeath, so when you die, you lose everything and must start re from the beginning again. It has pickups that alter your character in some way, alter the stats and the abilities of your character. There's all of these things that make it very much a roguelike, and it's actually a really good roguelike. I am having so much fun with it. I found it over on PC Gamer, I want to say PC Gamer, and as soon as I saw it, I bookmarked it. I went, yep, yeah, this is it. This is a game that I must look at. I like this weapon. Kind of about this weapon already, because did you just see what it gave me? Like a massive murder spree on that. It is taking some of my magics away though. I'm I saw it on Peace Gamer and I fell in love with it and straight away just went, Yep, gonna be playing that one. But unfortunately I was a little bit busy, didn't have enough time, so I had to I had to jump off the idea of doing it. But I did kind of internet dog ear it, I bookmarked it and went, This is definitely gonna be one that I'm gonna end up playing soon. And now is that time. And I freaking love it. If, if you can't tell, I'm having a whale of a time trying not to die. Because <laughs> I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting every time that I have abilities. It's something that I'm really bad for in other games like this where, you know, you got abilities. I keep forgetting, you know, magic. I'm, I'm always a warrior-like class. I don't use magic, so. So, what you do is you kind of try and traverse this dungeon that randomly generates every time you play um, and you're attempting to reach some point which I haven't reached yet because I'm not very good I didn't do too well in my last couple of attempts so I'm, I'm doing pretty badly but right now I'm actually doing okay I'm doing alright should be getting somewhere near a resolution what is that give me increased mana so as you can see here we have all of the different types of things you can pick up so you know it gives you slimy footsteps or it gives you increased mana and stuff like that and down at the bottom we have a bunch of abilities that you can use I've also got an extra weapon which is the one that you could see that I was using to kind of craptastic brilliant you are quite dead indeed craptastic enter to restart didn't do too well on that one let's try again uh, it's because I had like a load of those big spiders that was not doing me very well because I hate those big spiders So liver that is crit up. So that's pretty nice. So every time I crit I do a bit more damage Man just just die spiders Why are there always spiders in games? It's horrible I mean don't get me wrong. I appreciate spiders for their kind of evolutionary prowess, but man they are just terrifying creatures so you can use abilities, you can use other weapons, you can pick up other weapons that kind of give you more abilities again. I picked up one which gave me the ability to teleport. I picked up one that gave me the ability to fire lightning. I gave me one, I picked up one that gave me the ability to shoot magic like it was a machine gun. It was crazy. I loved that one because it was like, oh, so good. So this one, the swoosher was it? This one actually teleports you to wherever the cursor is. Could be quite like nice to kind of bounce around the level a little bit and kind of try and stay mobile a bit more. So we'll do that, get out of the way. You know, you can do a bit of shooting like this. You kind of get over here, shoot off this, move over here. You know, you get a lot of abilities that you can kind of use. I tend to stick with like two and four. Four very rarely, but like two is my, my staple. I freaking love two. 
Like two is literally stand in the middle of a room and just do that. It's amazing. It's fantastic. And three, uh, four, sorry, I'll show you in this room, actually. I don't think there's anything I want to do in there. No. So we're going to do four now, which is basically like just a scatter shot. Like it searches out. It's like a heat seeking missile. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. I, lo I, I, I prefer any form of AOE attacks. I think they make me feel cool. Because it means I'm taking out more than one enemy and, you know, who doesn't love doing that? So we've got this eye that's just sticking around like a beast. So now I'm going to kind of go around and I'm going to collect these little orbs of magic. And I'm also going to collect these hearts, which gives you health. Luck up. Okay. We're going to need luck now in this bloody room, I bet, yeah. So we're going to stay away from that fire. And we're going to try and keep shooting. I want to keep using my abilities as well. Because I don't use my abilities nearly enough. Which leaves me in a really bad position. Because, you know, you're trying to, trying to murder these things in a kind of really optimal way. That was really dumb. I just ran into him. Don't know why I did that. It's really silly. So, I, I love this game. I think it's cracking. This is just such a good little experience and for nothing like if you go to the link in the description down below you can pick this up for nothing for nothing like free is one of those numbers that everything should be like it should just be like man because it's such value this is such value for money really you're not really spending anything you're getting a cracking little experience a cracking little game Give the developer a little bit of feedback, maybe on Twitter or on the forum that he's a part of. And, like, Bish Bash Bosh, you'll have yourself, like, a really great experience that, you know, you can't beat. I can't, you can't beat it. I love indie games for this reason. Like, they give you, like, these experiences you can't get anywhere else. Craptastic, I died. Brilliant. Does that use health? I don't think so. I think I was just being an absolute scrub. So that has been Tiny Wizard, the very alpha of Procedural Death Labyrinth. It is a cracking game, which for the price tag of free, you cannot go wrong. I, I love it. I think it's fantastic. I think it's adorable. I think the developer is re right onto a winner because it's just amazing. It's well worth it. And it's so early in the alpha, it's 007. It has no other numbers except seven. This is well worth it. You should check it out. It's free. And if you like this and would like to see this as a permanent part of my channel, maybe for Mondays, drop me a comment in the comment section down below telling me yay or nay. So I've been your host, The Camera Andy, and I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye.